So, I mean, when you say joining in the work, you don't mean joining in the work of like... The work of abolition. Of, but not like joining in the work of, of specifically joining up with AHA, but... There is no joining up with AHA. AHA is not an organization. AHA is an ideology. That's another misconception. Okay. AHA has nothing to do with an organization. It's not a top-down structure. There are no AHA leaders. Okay? There are none. It's not a group. It's not an organization. It's a movement of like-minded people who follow an ideology. Have you studied it? The ideology. I had no idea there's no leaders. Exactly. There are leaders within the movement, there's, but there's not leaders of AHA because AHA is simply an ideology. Like, for example, this is not a logo. It's a symbol, and it's a theological symbol. It's not a logo that stands for an organization. It's a theological symbol, just like the fish, just like the cross. It means certain theological things. And that's what I mean, like guys talk about AHA like they know what they're talking about. I'm saying you're saying it out of ignorance because I don't think you do. So this is an A yeah, this is not and an, an upside down. It's not an organization. Exactly, this is new to you. You're, you're, the, 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 those who slander and malign us will never tell you this. They will always... I mean, you're wearing the, the hat and the t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. The signs with the logo on it. Be that's not like... That's not because, 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 we, because we unify around a symbol, just like okay. Christians unify around a cross. Okay. Like, we unify around theological symbols, and we, and we want to identify uh, with one another. That's it. That's the only reason. We want to show that we are in unity with one another. That's why we wear the symbol. And we want people to recognize. I want you to always think about this when you see this symbol. Okay. You have an A and an A. One's upside down because the laws of our world are upside down. You know, these, these guys who have came to turn the world upside down. That's what they said about the apostles. We are. Our world's upside down and it needs to be turned right side up. It needs to be flipped on its head so that what's wrong is wrong and what's right is right rather than what's wrong is good and what's right is evil. That's how we currently see things. And this is, a, it forms an H, so it's an A-H-A, but these are actually two I's that form an H. They're actually two I's and they stand for two theological propositions that are derived from the Bible and nowhere else. Nowhere else can you derive these two theological propositions that stand in direct contradiction to this evil. The incarnation of Christ and the Imago Dei. Christ came into the world, took on flesh, became like us in all ways from the moment of fertilization. Which means that if we abandon one image bearer from the moment of fertilization, we have abandoned Christ because He was there. So it's a desecration of the incarnation of Christ and it's a defilement of the very place that He chose to enter the world, the womb of woman. The very place where that child's supposed to be cared for, nurtured for, fed, and grown. The Imago Dei. It's the very reason why it's wrong to murder human beings. Genesis 9, 6. If you shed the blood of man, by man will your blood be shed, for in the image of God he created them. That's why it's wrong to murder human beings. Not because they feel pain. It's not wrong to murder you because you have two eyes on your face and a nose on your face and you look like me. It's not wrong to murder you because you can talk with me. It's not wrong to murder you because you like the same styles as I do or any of those reasons. It's wrong to murder you because you're an image bearer of God. I slaughtered my pigs three weeks ago. It wasn't wrong to kill them. You know what I mean? But it's wrong to kill you because you're an image bearer of God and it's wrong to kill them because they're an image bearer of God. It's a theological symbol. It's not a logo. And we follow it and we believe it's true. And I don't believe there's anything false about what I just told you. And that's what we want people to think about when they see the symbol.